And in this video, you and I are looking at some really awesome Town Hall 12 hits from my own clan family. And we're getting started right now. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Nemo, and welcome to another strategy video. Today, we are highlighting some really awesome Clan War League hits from my own family. But this is another series that I will be bringing to you that's going to feature Clan War League and just regular war hits from my own clan family. So without further ado, let's get started. The first hit is performed by Nitin and he is bringing the Pekka Bobat. Now I'm sure by now you've all heard of the Pekka Bobat. It's a really awesome and a very strong attack that can be used in many different Town Hall levels. And of course right here we're going to look at the Town Hall 12 version of the Pekka Bobat. So the idea here is you want to make sure that you funnel your troops into the center of the base, right? You want to make sure that your Pekkas, your heroes, your bowlers, and the healers are actually going to walk into the base versus out. So what he's going to do here is use the two Electro Dragons to funnel and get rid of all of the buildings on the outside. So there's nothing else for the Pekka to do but to go into the base right through the walls. Another very important thing to a successful pack of Bobat is base identification. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you come in with your kill squad into an area that can take a lot of wizard towers. Remember, the bats are very vulnerable to wizard towers and multi infernos. You want to make sure that you take those out. Otherwise, you have to use your free spells on them. So if you can find a good area where your kill squad can come in and take out a whole bunch of wizard towers and maybe multi inferno, you're golden. Your bat will take care of the rest. One very important thing to remember, when you deploy your bats, you have to babysit them all the way through. If there are wizard towers or multi-infernos left, you have to sit there with your freeze spells right there waiting to freeze them so they do not hit your bats. One hit from a wizard tower and all your bats are dead. You do not want that to happen. So right here we just watched a perfect example of how you should run your P.E.K.K.A. Bow Bat. Uh, Nitin does a really good job and brings in that uh, that three star that we need right here in the clan war leagues very nice work now let's move on to the second hit so in this replay we're gonna watch rabbit come in here and take this base down with hogs lots and lots of hogs so what he's gonna do here is he's going to use his packers heroes and the wall wrecker to come into the base since this is a clan war league, he has to ensure the two star, right? Now this is hogs, so there is a high probability that you might run out of time or something. So of course he's got to come in to the town hall side to ensure that two star. Now rabbit here does almost that. He took out the enemy clan castle. He took out a whole bunch of key defenses, of course it's town hall. But what he didn't get is he didn't get the enemy queen. And you'll see that at the end, he almost doesn't get this because of that enemy queen. And it's very important, you have to take out the enemy queen. Now one important thing he also did is he cut out the base and left a runway for his hogs to go into the rest of the base. This is a very good thing to do when you're running hogs because it allows you to place your heels more effectively. If it's a narrow part of the base and you can place your heels, you can cover a lot more hogs with them. Notice he also threw the Grand Warden behind the hogs. That's also a very good idea to do. The Grand Warden with the heels will keep the hogs alive and they'll just keep pushing through the base. Really, really, really good work. You throw the hogs out and then you just basically heal them right near the wizard towers, bomb towers, places like that. Multi infernos are also a very good place where you can use your heels to make sure that your hogs get through all of the defenses successfully. Another important thing that you should do is you make sure that you have enough cleanup troops. Notice that he has five wizards and an archer that he saves for the cleanup. You want to get those started midway through the attack. 
because the hogs will take out defenses first right and then they'll have to come back all the rest of the trash and that's where you can really run out of time so it's very important that you need to save a whole bunch of cleanup troops and start deploying them at the outermost buildings that all of the hogs left behind now look at rabbit over here he's actually very smart he brings a few miners with him and that is of course for buildings that are left on the inside of the base that would be hard to get to things like uh, the dark elixir storage right there he deploys the miners they take care of that as the cleanup troops move through the base notice the queen is still alive and killed the rest of his hogs and now it's really all up to some wizards a few miners to get her down thankfully they have enough to get it done they take out the queen and a rabbit brings in that three star nice work and that ladies and gentlemen brings us to the end of our video i sincerely hope you learned something today if you enjoyed the video make sure to smash that like button subscribe if you have not already and folks i will see you in the next one goodbye